so I have decided to start a Dear Diary for YouTube, and uh, as my life is not very exciting, but I figured maybe. So today I was making baked ziti, as as you know, it's gonna be dinner time soon, and I was thinking back to my son Connor. He has a um, a job interview today. He's 16. This is going to be his, his first job. If he gets the job. And I'm thinking like, what kind of things is, is he going to buy with his first paycheck? I'm like excited for him to get a paycheck. I mean, he, he's had money. He gets money. Um, like a weird shadow. It's so weird. Anyways, looks like there's something on my nose, but there's not. Um, but, you know, he's never had a paycheck, paycheck, and I'm, I'm really excited for him to see where he goes with it. So, as I'm thinking about that, you know, thinking of all the things that he'd buy, because he's still very childlike. He's still very um, into, like, he's into books, and he's into, like, anime characters, and he still likes Harry Potter. He's 16, you know. But that's what he likes, and so that's what he likes, and... I, I assumed like maybe his first paycheck is going to be like for 10 hours and it's not going to be very much and, but I'm still excited. I'm, I'm excited to see because I have an older son who's 18 who has not gotten a job yet. But my 16 year old was like, the second I turn 16, I want a job. And we're like, good, get a job. Like I will help you. I'll drive you, you know, whatever you need. And anyways, so it got me thinking back to when I was 17 and I got my first real job like I'd done lots of side jobs and part-time jobs and not really part-time but like babysitting and and nannying kind of you know what high schoolers can do and when I got my first first paycheck I remember um my stepmom telling me that like I needed to give her money because she needed stuff for the kids and you know, my dad worked hard. He worked 50, 60 hour weeks and, but she just refused to work. Like she refused to cook. She refused to clean. I feel like a lot of my diaries are going to be about her inconsistency as a parent. Um, and the things that I took from growing up and tried not to do with my own kids. Um, but yeah, she was very much into, Hey, we need money for this. You know, your dad gave me money this week for this but we don't have enough and I need you to give me money and I, I did like those are for my siblings my siblings needed it like the babies need diapers sure yeah like here I'll give you the money like but in the meantime the whole time she's like you need to help pay for this because the kids need this and that your dad doesn't have the money for it but the whole time she hated me hated me and all she talked about was well, when you move out, when you move out, when you move out, when are you going to move out? You need to move out. But never supported me enough to like, I worked three jobs. They were all part time. Like one was 12 hours a week. One was 30. One was 30. But I worked so much and I barely slept. I was able to sleep like four hours a night if I, if, if I was lucky. But I was 17, 18 and I was like, it's okay. I got this. And every time I, like, saved up for it, something else happened. Like, you know, they they would guilt trip me. Like, I think it was it was coming from my father sometimes. But I think a lot of it was, was my stepmom, like, telling him, like, hey, you have to tell her. You have to tell her she has to pay. She has to do this. And, you know, there were times where, like, I'd get a paycheck and I didn't even, I'd just give it all to them. We need groceries. We need this. We need that. Like, I gave them everything I had. But she constantly you need to move out. And I could never save enough to move out. And then finally one day I had to leave and I was like, I'm going to have to sleep in my car until I can save up the money to move out and to get up my own place. And I mean, that's what it ended up becoming is like, I'm a 17 and a half year old kid. I dropped out of high school. I did do that. Um, but I didn't have a really good time in high school either. So I was very much just left to myself in my own head and that was really hard for me growing up was anxiety depression um which bringing forward to today like I try not to impose any of those things and 
and it hurts my relationship with my husband because he's their stepfather and he doesn't understand why I don't enforce certain rules and I don't force them to do this. I don't force them to do that. And I really believe it stems from my, like my upbringing to where I was, I was the second parent at 12. Like I had to become the second parent. I was the oldest and babies just kept getting made. And it was every day after school, you best come home as fast as you can because you need to watch the kids. Because, you know, this is when my stepmom actually did have a job. Um, you no, know, you can't go to your friend's house this weekend because we both have to work. No, you can't, you know, you can't do this. You can't, If you want to see your friends, they have to come here and they have to help you with the kids. And I had a best friend, Carrie, who was... She lived the same life I did, except for she only had one sibling, but her mom was very much, um, you can't, you can't have friends over, you can't go anywhere, because you need to be here to watch your brother after school, and every weekend, every day, and her mom went out a lot, she drank a lot, um, always at the bar, you know, it was always Carrie, and if I did get a weekend where my parents were going to be home, and I could go out, I would go to her house, and I would support her the best I could, I've always been one of those people who supported her friends and supported her family as best as she could. And, um, you know, I have a younger sister who she, she's just, she's a, she's a raging bitch. I, I absolutely can't stand her. I know it upsets my father to the point where I think it's kind of hurt our relationship because I just, I can't, I can't deal with my sister at this point. I'm 41. She is 20 something. I don't know. I think she's born in 95. She's like 26. Um, I did everything for that child. Like every day I took care of her. I fed her. I clothed her. I bought her clothes when they didn't fit her. When her shoes were too small. When I was a teenager, I bought them for her. Like I did so much for this child and and then as she grew up she just she expected everything like she wouldn't take what she was given she demanded more and I know she got that from her mother her mother um and I'm not gonna say names but her mother she she was exactly the same way like she you know she was young when she married or when she, she didn't even get married but when she got with my father she was 18 and he was 36 but you know age is just a number i understand that i'm 41 and my husband is 29 um i mean age isn't anything but when you're when you're an 18 year old basically kid because she had a child who was almost two at the time um and you know and you're given like this 11 year old and a 10 year old and a six year old and a five year old and and then you know like you're told like hey you're gonna be the stepmom like she she never really liked us it was all about her and her kids like the kids that she produced and that was that like hardly did she ever support us in any way like and i'm not even talking monetarily i'm talking emotionally and you know my dad he was a hard man like he i think he tried he tried i mean I, and I, I see that I've talked to a lot of other people who say that their, um, their fathers were rough and tough growing up. And now like if I put my feet on the couch growing up, like I would have been like, get your goddamn feet off my couch. This is not what we do around here. You know? And you know, my, when my kids were smaller and they go to my dad's house and at my house, you climb on whatever you want. Like if you fall off, hopefully you've learned the lesson not to climb on the couch. But they'd go to my dad's house and they're climbing across the freaking back of the couch and, you know, hanging on to curtains. And I'm thinking to myself, yo, grandpa's going to have your ass. And grandpa's like, oh, no, they're fine. They're fine. And, you know, as I guess as these rough and tough Marlboro men get older, they they become chill. And I think that's what happened with my dad is he became chill. I wish he'd been chill when I was a kid, but he wasn't. Um, and I was the oldest daughter. Like, I was the daughter, and then he had boy, 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 and then my little sister. And um, I think having the girl first kind of threw him for a loop. He really, you know, he was, he was a, he's a man's man. He, you know, does manly things, and, you know. I mean, I grew up trying to be... 
you know, a mechanic's daughter. I, I never really got into cars. Like, I wish I would, now, now being 41, I really wish I would have gotten into doing car things with my dad because he moved to Tennessee last year and it's been really hard not being able to call him and be like, hey dad, something's wrong with my water. Can you come fix it? You know, hey dad, my brakes are squealing. Can you come put on new brakes for me? My husband's tried to learn how to do it and he's, he's doing good at it, but he's not great. He's trying. Um, yeah, I just ramble sometimes about the weirdest shit. Like, I'm thinking of paychecks. I'm Connor's first paycheck, and I'm now going over my entire childhood. Um, but I think that's what Dear Diary is going to mostly be about. It's going to be just random things, whatever I think about, um, while making dinner or sitting in bed watching TV or something. Who knows? Um... I guess that's it for right now. I will um, keep you posted on whether or not Connor got that job. Thumbs up. Uh okay, we're rolling up to pick up Connor to find out if he got the job. Super exciting. We'll call you later. Did you get it? Oh. They asked me a few questions and um. Ask me if I can bring a like social security card ID or something. Alright, come on, get in the car. Somebody needs to go by. Okay, what do you say? Um, did, did you 